Well, we gave it our best shot, Kip. Uh, we won, sir. What's that, Kip? The, the Earth election, sir. We won. Now we can put in place all your policies for restoring the Earth economy. Oh. Good. What exactly are those policies, sir? Well, Kiff, we're going to make the Earth great again. Yes, sir, but how? Let's move on to foreign policy. As an important matter, I'm willing to give this all the time and patience it deserves to read a diplomatic and fruitful conclusion. What do you think, Kiff? Five minutes should do the trick? <sighs> foreign policy. Right, okay then. Hmm. How about if anyone attacks us, then we just use our giant planet blower up rockets on them so that they all die too? Um, sir, that's exactly what you wrote in your book 16 years ago, sir. Yes, it is. Zap Brannigan's Big Book of War, my masterwork. After all, there's nobody bigger or better at the military than I am. Unfortunately, sir, foreign policy is much more about trying to serve Earth's best interests when dealing with uh, aliens, sir. Hmm. I feel like you ought to have known that, Kiff, as Vice President. As the elected voice of the unwashed masses, let me tell you that the serfs and plebeians will not tolerate a leader who knows nothing. As opposed to you, sir? Yes, indeed, Kiff. You see, it's unclear why the citizens of Earth love me so. Is it my dashing smile? The fact that I hide the hypnotoad? Or oh, my gorgeous blonde hair? Actually, sir, the people of Earth believe you wear a toupee. It's not a wig, it's my hair! Stretching the public's credulity somewhat, don't you think? Do you want to... touch it? <laughs> not really, sir. Mm. Then what do you suggest it is? My seductive voice? Well, it's certainly not your honesty, sir. Well said, Kiff. As for the issues of foreign policy, I suggest you consult my book. Surely not your big book of war again, sir. No, Kiff. The other book. Um, Zach Brannigan's big book of walls? Just so. You see, Kiff, for years now, the illegal immigrants of Mexican Four have been making their way into our precious land of freedom, justice, and liberty. There, they steal jobs from hard-working Earthicans. And that's not all. They're bringing crime. They're bringing drugs. They're rapists. That's a bit of an inflammatory statement, isn't it, sir? Can you prove this accusation? Well, someone's doing the raping. I mean, someone's doing it. Who's doing the raping? I'm not doing the raping. Sir, please don't joke about that sort of thing. It's not going to be well received by the public. I never joke about the inhabitants of Mexican 4. Some, I suppose, are good people. Regardless, my suggestion is that we build some sort of giant space wall. It will be manned by a politically neutral organization to prevent them from interfering with matters of the realm. And we'll make them wear all black so they can camouflage with space or something. But, sir, Mexiconians have brought a lot of happiness to Earth, too. We've shared culture, we've shared music, we've shared food. You're talking about fajitas and jalapenos. The famed taste bud tinglers of our enemies. I, I think it's pronounced fajitas and jalapenos, sir. You see, they can't even spell. So it's pronounced fajitas, is it? Yes, sir, but uh, emphasis on the hook. You need more phlegm. Disgusting, as I always knew. Captain, the labor costs for this wall will be extraordinary. And the building materials. It's just a logistical nightmare. Don't worry, Kiff. The wall will be cheap. You have the President's promise. Cheap? What are you going to build it out of, sir? Ice? My beautiful monstrosity will be built from hardened concrete, rebar, and steel. As for the labor costs, pff, I'll get the Mexiconians to do it. But why would they, sir? If they refuse, we'll block access to our markets and cancel their visas. They need access to our markets far more than the reverse, so we have all the leverage and would easily win the negotiations. <sighs> it's an easy decision for Mexican for. 
make a one-off payment of five to ten trillion dollars to ensure that twenty-four trillion dollars continues to flow into their planet year after year. So you're saying we should have the wall built by... Illegal aliens, that's right, Kiff. Yes. The brown and yellow people, repulsive as they are, will trouble us no more. You see, Kiff, I don't despise them because they're different to me. No, I despise them because they're not the same as me. Sir, that's hideously racist of you. If anybody hears you say that... No, Kiff, that's hideously racist of you. The yellow aliens that I am referring to are a pale mustard color that reminds one of the congealed and partially masticated remains of weak old macaroni cheese. As for the brown aliens, well, they remind me of the chocolate silky manure of a dysentery suffering mule. As for the blacks, I have a great relationship with the blacks. And you expect all of these Mexiconian races to build your wall for you? This is your trump card? Good, isn't it, Kiff? Now, get building, alien. But, sir, I'm Are you, not... or are you not an alien, Kiff? Well, yes, but I have the right to live and work here, sir, and as the last few weeks have shown, I have become quite a proficient politician. Kiff, so Kiff, I... Kiff! What, sir? All of that political prowess is merely rubbed up from me. And besides, I've decided that I want to see some documents. No one will be achieving office in the White House until they can prove to me that they are an Earthborn citizen by showing me their birth certificate. And even then, I'll just assume that it's forged. Sir, I admit I'm, I'm not an Earth native, but I do have the right to work here or not. I, I, I have a visa and everything. Marrying Miss Amy Wong, sexful as she is, does not count as having a valid Earth visa. No, but sir, I, I have the paperwork. Show me. Sir? Show me your paperwork. Where is it? Well, I don't have it on then me, Then get sir. building, I... alien. Look, you oh. can start with that bric-a-brac over there. 